Welcome everyone, welcome to another preview. Yes, this will be a preview, not a first minute series, because I've actually played um, this game for about well, a good two hours. It's a game by Ironward called Solstice Chronicles MIA, or Missing in Action, and it's a game very much akin to the old, well, old, Bloody hell, 2010, it's been seven years since 2010. The 2010 game called Alien Swarm. If you haven't played it, go forth and download it from Steam. It's actually free, and it's been so for quite a while now, and it's a lot of fun. It's co-op. And Solstice Chronicles, uh, I thought, would be more of the same, and in a way, it kind of is. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to actually play it uh, multiplayer. Wait. Is there a multiplayer? There must be multiplayer. Of course there is a multiplayer. Uh, you must create at least one profile. Yes. No, I don't want to. I want to go back to the main menu. Wait, where is multiplayer? And how do you get to it? That's embarrassing. I've spent all this time and I haven't... Um... I'm guessing you just invite people through Steam. Anyway, let's try out some more story. I've been playing the story. I've done quite a few missions already. I'm sort of past the uh, halfway point. After finding another symbiont, Ella... Oh yeah, this is spoilers, of course, so don't watch if you don't want to have it spoiled. But let me show you how the game looks like. This is us. This is the soldier. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you can customize the looks, at least not here anyway. You can customize your primary weapon, your secondary weapon, your uh, skills, and of course over here you can spend points on your perk tree. Now, I'm not sure about the drone, how it is in multiplayer, but in single player the drone is part of the story and, you know, it's there whether you like it or not. It doesn't really get in your way if you don't want it, but it is mighty useful. So anyway, I've got four points to spend. I will spend it in usability and... Hmm. What else? Stamina, revives it. I might actually do more stamina, yeah. Alright, so, the primary weapon is my light machine gun, which is quite nice. Uh, I cannot get these shot these other shotguns, I don't know why. But the light machine gun it is, and instead of the HPR Viking, I am going to get the shotgun, probably. Now, the reason for this... Hmm, it's bullets penetrate targets. I'd actually get that, to be honest. Now, the reason for this is that... Ammunition is shared between the weapons, so if you use all the ammunition that you have with the light machine gun, there's not going to be anything left for your sniper rifle. In a way, it does simplify things quite a bit. Also, I've got steroids, I've got the grenade and bullet converter, so let's, anyway, let's play. There's some speech in the game as well. Uh, the story, you know, is nothing to, uh, to write home about, but the, uh, the... Why is there no voice? I can we'll this. plant it next to the reactor core and get on that train. There we go. Uh, the the voice acting that it is in the game is actually not half bad. Oh bloody hell! They're already all over me. So it is a case of you know you're being overwhelmed by aliens. Come on, are you gonna pick it up or not? There you go. So my little bot is gonna pick up the bomb, I'm assuming. And now we can try to follow it. Get it. Why did you only get it there? There. Now I can also melee attack them. It's not perhaps the wisest solution. Alright, I've gotta stay here. Ah! Get away from me. Okay, and I'm already running out of ammunition. What do I do now? I guess I have to open the doors. Uh-oh. Are you gonna be kidding me? I gotta destroy those doors? Oh, bloody hell, how do I do that without dying? Well, I'm already out. Take that. The graphics are quite nice. There's some ammunition here. Now what I can also do is have my drone pick up useful stuff. Unfortunately, the longer I spend here... 
Let's pick up this wired explosive and build it over here by the door so hopefully we can get through. Build it, please. I never really figured out how to detonate the explosive, though. Okay, build another one. There goes one, but it barely did any damage to the door. Extreme. Yeah, I know, threat level is extreme. There's more and more aliens coming. Or, well, these infected. I can give him a grenade. Enjoy that. Okay, seriously, how do I... Ah, I'm gonna die! Can you build another one here? And I'm actually dead. Because I've been shot. I can revive with a limited amount of health, 70% right now. And it does, you know, stun and damage aliens around. But I am confused. Well, I just have... Yeah, I just have to destroy the doors. Come on. Oh, I'm getting stuck here. Get out of there. Oh, bloody hell. Big guy. Gate terminal. Come on. I want to use it. This is really not good. Can I please get to the top? Oh man, I've already I've already lost here, I think. I would have to be a lot quicker doing this stuff. Get out of the way. Oh, Drony's busy because it still has the stupid thing. Oh, see, this is the problem. The drone is actually supposed to use the gate terminal, and because it was carrying the wired explosives, I'm gonna wait a bit. Yeah. Okay, now use the gate terminal. I can't even get to the gate terminal. I'm dead again. Mm. Unfortunately, some of the levels seem to be quite annoying. Like this one, for example. I mean, look at this. Where am I supposed to find the ammunition? I know you're just supposed to go, but bloody hell. Give me a chance. It's also very annoying that only the drone can do some of the stuff. I don't know why they did that. But if it's carrying anything, well, we're dead anyway. We won't have to... Do this again. You know, if it's carrying anything, it can't really operate anything else. And the worst thing is, you have to spend a little bit of time using things. We'll plant it next to the reactor core and get on that train. If you move away, you know, that little loading bar is there. If you move away, why was she not attacking? There. Yeah. If you move away, see, there's a loading bar, and if I were to move away... I would not have operated the switch. Same here. That's a bit of an annoying thing, but otherwise... Oh, bloody hell, what are those? Hi. Bloody hell, that's pretty cool. Come on. Oh, I forgot the damn thing. Get out of here. Oh, there's more enemies everywhere! Okay, let's get the bomb. Come on. Okay, get the bomb forward. <laughs> what the hell? Come on. Move it. And that is why I got the perk, which uh, decreases the amount of time it takes to move something. I mean, to use something. Now, this would probably be a lot more fun with uh, more than just one person. And actually, even in single player, the game is not bad. It's actually quite fun. As I said, the uh, voice acting is pretty good. Where the hell am I supposed to get it? Oh. Now, activate the countdown timer and let's get out of here. Okay. Timer. So what now? Where do I get out? Okay, it's showing me we need to get out there. Threat level extreme. But there's also something you see called a threat level. Which basically means there's a bar up at the top. And it took me a while to actually figure out what it meant. Oh my bloody giddy aunt. Here. Have some of this. So many of them. Uh, the threat level means that... Oh, let's just see this cutscene. Those biohazard tanks are 
tanks she's got there. It's the virus. We can't let her get away. Oh, brilliant. Hopefully that's going to be the next mission. Yeah, I think it's going to be. There we go. So the threat level basically works like there's a bar and as it increases, there's a you know, dark area of the bar, which means how many monsters can be spawned. And then the red bar is how many monsters have spawned. So as you kill them, the bar decreases, but is the dark bar you really care about at the moment because, you know, that's how many monsters can spawn. And the higher it is, the more sp monsters will spawn, of course. And there's, a, there's an ability of your drone that can actually decrease that. I'm not sure in what way, but it can. So, we go to the next level, and of course, you can uh, increase your stuff. The, le uh, the weapons level up as well as you uh, fire them, but it, it just gives you like plus damage percent, you know, passive stuff. But actually, it's pretty nice because there's more clip size, there's less spread, even though it says plus six percent. Uh, so the more you use a weapon, you know, the more you'll be rewarded using it. As you can see, I haven't used the uh, strike six at all. Or very little, it's just level one. Um, now, let's use these perks. Uh, we said stamina, right? Because stamina can be quite useful, you know, for running and getting out of situations. I never use these class skills, I always forget them. I use some grenades, but never the stairs and such. I'll have to do that. That's a separate, um, separate ammunition you have, by the way. If we get a little bit of time, I will show you. <clears throat> oh wow, we're actually outside. That's the first time. Well, actually, no, no, it's not the first time. I lie. Well, that was quite nice. This oh, train can only go two ways: Tharsis or the Terraformer facility. And since there's no more Tharsis, then why take it to the Terraformer? They can launch it straight into the storm, spread it across the planet. That's the Unity project. Wow, I've got a lot what of ammunition. Hell? Look at the size of that thing. Ooh. Watch out! Uh oh. Can I kill this thing? Yes, I can. Can I go through? Well, it's not saying I should go anywhere, but. Reach the terraformer. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say is this the right way? And the answer is no, not really. Uh oh. It's gonna be eating the cars now, isn't it? Let's get out of there. Never mind. I can't go there. Hmm. Now the drone has some options. Up there you've got one, two, three, four. And one is scout, which th means the drone will bring you items. If I do this, for example, I have to stay in the blue area. And it'll bring me items. That was stupid. I started reloading. Uh, like ammunition, health, and stuff like that. You know, whatever you really need, it'll bring you. Uh, unfortunately, doing this increases the threat level. What the hell happened? Oh, I was supposed to fight that thing in the back. I see. Uh, let's this skip train that. This can only go two ways. Tharsis or the terraformer facility. And since there's no more Tharsis... But why take it to the Terraformer? They can launch it straight into the storm, spread it across the planet. That's the Unity project. I wanted to say, you can also play this game with a controller, but obviously I'm not doing that right now. And, you know, might make things right a little now. bit easier, the too. Size of that thing. Watch out! But, you know, using mouse and a controller is completely fine. And as I said, it's quite, um... It's quite nice killing these aliens. It feels pretty good. Satisfying. Uh, I kind of wish there was a little bit more feedback when you impact the aliens. Because sometimes it's not clear whether you're actually hitting them or not. So, there it is. Red level. Ah! Nice. Look at that. Let's reload. Uh-oh. Gotta go. I guess it'll be eating one car at a time, so, uh... We gotta, we gotta shoot it. Oh, they're attacking me. Oh! And they were despawned. That was interesting. <laughs> so, if I use Taunt, for example, that will actually decrease the threat level. I don't know what way, but it will. But every time you use it, it'll spawn a powerful enemy for you to fight as well. 
So, you know, swings and roundabouts and all that. These guys are a bit weird to hit. They're in the air, so you're not exactly sure where to shoot. There we go. Let's say hello to it, shall we? Oh, if I just move back and forth, those things can't really hit me very well. That's nice. Let's reload. We're running out of ammunition. I need more. Uh-oh. Not there, of course. <laughs> so yeah, I've played this game for more than half hour. Uh, two and a half hours, I think. And it's a fun game. It's a fun game. If you, if you play a single player, or even more so if you play it multiplayer, I'm pretty sure. So I don't really care about the extreme uh, threat level here. Target finder fully charged. I never use that. And unfortunately, it's placing things where I can't reach them. There it is. It's hungry and it's angry. Take that! This is a pretty powerful weapon. Oh yeah, there's also brutal weapons. Uh, about... Which are special weapons, one time use only, that you can sometimes pick up, I mean, you can pick up if you find them, or your little bot finds them. And they're very fun to use, because they're very powerful and have pretty cool effects. Can I pick that up? No. I can't pick that one up either. Bring me more if you can. See, supplies left two, increase one. Now there's no more supplies, and there's nothing the little bot can bring me, unfortunately. There we go. Ooh, the train stopped. Very. They've cut the power. It's on foot from here. They cut the power. What do you mean they cut the power? They're animals, man. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, it's that thing. I guess this is a boss fight. Threat level medium. Defeat Kerr. I'm not very good at the boss fights. They're quite brutal in this game. <clears throat> Let's activate the power relay. Whatever that does. Combat suit upgrade. Ooh, I like that. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's got a lot of health. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Let us reload, shall we? Uh-oh. There's little things as well now. Get it! I just gotta get in there. L let me open the doors. Ow! Helmet suit upgrade. I don't know what that does. Oh, there's a seismic resonator and... Um... Oh, it's actually killing me very quickly here. What do I do? Okay, build it. I don't know what that's gonna do. But it might do something good. I am barely touching this thing. That's not good. Threat level high. Okay, what does that do? I don't know what that does. There's so many enemies around here. Oh my god. <laughs> I also should notice uh should note that the game is firmly planted at 60 frames per second. Oh, yeah, I'm completely out. There's one supply left. Brilliant. That's one of the bad sides, I would say. Uh, you can quickly run out of supplies, and then you're left with nothing. And if you don't do it right, that's it. Oh, my bloody flipping hell. Have some grenades. That's right. Well, I've got 75 more bullets. What do these things do? Oh, they actually damage them. Yeah, it damages them. Interesting. I'm pretty sure it's gonna damage... Activate power relays. Oh, I have to do another power relay. Let's get this uh, ammunition here. Oh, it's not ammunition. Right, where's the other power relay? Oh, it's just showing me the boss. Okay. Where are you? Where art thou? I should really use the bullet converter and everything. I've got this strike f uh, 6, which still has some bullets, but... That doesn't mean it has 75 bullets, because it probably consumes more than just one at a time. Have this. 
Ah, uh, there's another power relay. Alright, let's do this quickly. So what does that do? Ah. Uh, no, give me give me ammunition! I can't I can't move now. Okay, pick up the turret. We'll see if it does anything. Ow. I mean it won't, because the turrets you can place with these uh, are not very good, unfortunately. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, that's right. Okay, t bullet converter. I'm using it. Now, the bullet converter didn't do much. I think it's supposed to not use bullets sometimes. So you can see this thing uses 10 bullets at a time. Not quite ideal for me. Let's heal up. Anything else here? Light machine gun. Added what? Oh, some piercing bullets. No, what are they? I'm not sure. Uh, reach the terraformer. Defeat Kerr. Defend none. Ah! What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, that. Ow, ow, ow. Let's go back to the rest of the resonators and put another one down here. Come on. I still want to defeat this thing. Ow. Let's put another one here. Yeah, see, I'm just running around without any bullets. I can melee attack, but what am I going to do against these things? Holy propoli! It is... The seismic things are killing them, though. I think. It's quite nice. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be killed before that. I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead! Alright, seismic. There's another turret here, which is useless. Oh, put another turret down here, or a couple. Everything has a couple or three charges. I think two. Oh no, I wanted the light machine gun to have that. Oh well. Ammunition. Well, I think I can actually kill this thing. Of course, not before it kills me. And I'm dead. Well, I can revive with 70% at the moment. Let me just wait for the rest of them to come over here. So I can kill them. There we go, let's do that. Zzz. That's pretty nice. How are you supposed to kill this thing without any supplies? Look, if I do scout, I only get one supply, and that's it. Extreme. Yeah, no threat level is extreme. So is there an exit in this place? I don't think there is. Oh, bloody hell. See, but the thing is... Power 6. The thing is... Um, I've had problems killing a boss a few missions back, and I thought it was impossible, but then I decided to try it again and just killed it without too much trouble because I figured out the strategy. Not sure about this one, though, because it just seems it has unlimited amounts of health. I mean, look at this. Am I really just supposed to use the turrets? I'm not sure. Let's use the bombs. See how that works. One atrocity will be spawned. Brilliant. Come on. Go boom. It's just gonna stay here so that thing doesn't move away. Come on, go boom. He'll overcharge now. I'm not sure what that does with the bomb. Threat right. level. Medium. That was it? Seriously? And there's the atrocity that was spawned. Wee! <laughs> I'm so dead. Well, let's melee attack it now. Or let's revive here. And do damage. Do a tiny bit of damage to it. Yeah, I'm not sure how to kill this thing yet. But anyway. Um, so, uh, this game is fun. 
I don't mind it at all. It's not as polished or, you know, as good as an, I don't know, a AAA game, but it also does not nearly have the cost of any of those games. So, I don't, I don't mind this game at all. It's fun, it's got pretty nice graphics, uh, the controls are quite fine. I don't like the, the usage thing, which, you know, means you have to stay with things until you, until the loading bar is complete. Um, and it's gonna be a lot more fun with, with friends as well. I also don't like this whole, you have no ammunition thing. I, I really don't know what you're supposed to do here about that. Use all the barrels? That's not gonna work. Oh, wait a second. Nope, can't go through here. It's an invisible wall. Well, I've got these turrets here, which can maybe help me a little bit. Unfortunately, that was it for my ammunition. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little preview. Check out my uh, Patreon while you're, in, while you're doing that. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.